modernization is a word that we've used a lot in this space, and particularly at this bit in the last few years. Now, everyone agrees that we need it, and agencies talk about how they're going to do it. However, we all wonder how it's going to get funded. And over time, that conversation gets to be a little repetitive, and it's easy to feel like no progress will ever get made. So what Chris and I want to do here today is talk about some areas where things we've shown you at this briefing in the past is actually happening, where potential is becoming results. Now, we don't want to do that just to make it a feel-good story, but rather, as Chris and I will come back to repeatedly, this is the kind of progress that we're talking about that creates what we're calling knock-on opportunities down the road. Now, as they get moving on some of their long-standing priorities, your customers are going to find that modernization creates new requirements things that they didn't even know that they were going to need, and that creates opportunities for us as well. So a great example of that is some of the movement that we've seen in the last 12 months in terms of legislation and policy. One of the biggest challenges that we've all heard over the last few years is that our customers, even if they're aware that they need to modernize, they don't have the capital budgets, the upfront money that they're required to use to buy new capabilities and modern technology. And last year, Congress attempted to address that with the Modernizing Government Technology Act, or MGT. It's something we talked about at this briefing, and in the last 12 months, we've really started to see some of the effects of that bill uh, begin to take hold here. So one example of that is the awards that we see getting made out of the Central Technology Modernization Fund, the TMF. There are actually six awards to date. Uh, you can see some of those awardees up on the slide here. Those TMF projects are very small bore and very detailed application level modernization efforts. We're not showing these five agencies to you because we think that they are clear opportunity areas because they've won these awards. What we want to show you instead is a couple of the areas where CIOs are starting to feel a little bit more empowered. They're reaching out and they're looking forward in terms of how to modernize their enterprises. So if you see part of your territory up here, or frankly, even if you're working with customers who you know are thinking about what MGT will mean for them, either the TMF or the agency working capital funds, that's definitely a conversation you want to keep going in the next 12 months. We see movement as well on the centers of excellence front. Uh, that's the GSA initiative around five key modernization areas. Those are contact center management, data analytics, uh, business process modernization, and then really the two most important, which are data center optimization and cloud, and then customer experience enhancements. Uh, GSA is modeling a lot of things there with USDA as well as HUD, and then those are getting rolled out as best practices to the other agencies. We'll touch a little bit on USDA in a second, but if, you're, if you work in any of those COE supporting areas, that's another uh, space that you really want to be watching in the next 12 months.